Good day, learners! Welcome to Arts 9, Module 4 about the arts of neoclassic and romantic periods. Today's objectives are 1. Identify distinct characteristics of arts during the neoclassic and romantic periods. 2. Describe the influences icons belonging to neoclassic and romantic art on the evolution of art forms. 3. Make a picture collage that represents neoclassic and romantic paintings in the Philippines. Let's start this lesson with a pretest. In this activity, you have to read and answer the following questions and choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. When did the romantic art movement take place? A. 1200s B. 1400 to early 1500s C. Mid 1600s D. 1700 The correct answer is A. 1200s 2. What art movement came before the Romantic art period? A. Cubism B. Baroque C. Impressionism D. Expressionism The correct answer is B, Baroque. 3. Which of the following is a characteristic of the Romantic art movement? A. Emotions and imagination B. Idealism C. Loose brushwork D. All of the above The correct answer is A. Emotions and imagination 4. Which artist painted the raft of Medusa? A. Gary Colt B. Delacroix C. Rude D. Goya The correct answer is A. Gary Colt 5. Artistic, literary, musical, and intellectual movement that originated in Europe towards the end of the 18th century A. Romanticism B. Baroque C. Cubism D. Surrealist The correct answer is C. Cubism Now let's have a recap on the previous lesson. Name the artworks, artists, era, and describe each of the artworks. Use the format below. Let's start. First picture. What is the title of artwork, name of artist, and era? So this artwork is called Pieta, the name of artist is Michelangelo, and in Renaissance era. Next picture. What is the title of artwork, name of artist, and era. This artwork is called Cupid and Psyche by Antonio Canova and it is from Greek. Next picture. What is the title of artwork, name of artist, and era? This artwork is called Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci and it is from the Renaissance period. Next picture. What is the title of artwork, name of artist, and era? This artwork is called Las Meninas by Diego Velasquez and it is from Baroque period. Last picture. What is the title of artwork, name of artist, and era? This artwork is called The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci, and this is from the Renaissance period. Now, let's start our discussion about Romanticism. Romanticism is a movement in which the artists of neoclassical period sought to break new ground in the expression of emotions, both subtle and stormy, 
it embraced a number of distinctive themes such as longing for history, supernatural elements, social injustices, and nature. Landscape painting became more popular due to the people's romantic adoration of nature. Romanticism is a reaction to the classical, contemplative nature of neoclassicism pieces. Here are the characteristics of romanticism. Shows the height of action, emotional extremes, celebrated nature as out of control, dramatic compositions, heightened sensation, life and death. Now let's talk about romantic paintings, portraits, and figures. The paintings of the romantic period focused on emotion. Artists express as much feeling and passion as it could unto a canvas. One of the famous artists in this era is John Louis Theodore Géricault. Géricault is the first French master and the leader of the French realistic school. His masterpieces are energetic, powerful, brilliantly colored, and tightly composed. One of the famous artwork of Jericho is called the Raft of Medusa. The Raft of the Medusa portrays the victims of a contemporary shipwreck. The people on this raft were French immigrants on their road to West Africa. Another famous artwork of Jericho is called Charging Chaucer. His first major work revealed the influence of the style of Rubens and an interest in the depiction of contemporary subject matter. Another artwork made by Jericho is the Insane Women. Insane Women, one of the several portraits Jericho made of the mentally disabled that has a peculiar hypnotic power. Now let's talk about Eugene Delacroix. Delacroix was considered the greatest French romantic painter of all. He achieved the brilliant visual effects using small, adjacent strokes of contrasting color. He was the most influential to the most romantic painters and eventually his technique was adopted and extended by the Impressionist artists. One of the famous artworks made by Delacroix is called The Liberty Leading the People. This painting commemorates the July Revolution of 1830, which toppled King Charles X of France. A woman personifies liberty and leads the people forward over the bodies that fallen, holding the flag of the French Revolution. Now let's discuss Francisco Goya. Francisco Goya is a commissioned romantic painter by the King of Spain. He is also a printmaker regarded both as the last of the old masters and the first of the moderns. One of the famous artworks of Goya is the 3rd of May. This is Goya's masterpiece that sought to commemorate Spanish resistance to Napoleon's armies during the occupation of 1808 in the Peninsula War. Another artwork is called Saturn Devouring His Son. This artwork depicts the Greek myth of the Titan Cronus Saturn, who fears that he would be overthrown by one of his children, so he ate one upon their birth. Another artwork is called the Bureau of Sardine. The Bureau of Sardine was a Spanish ceremony celebrated on Ash Wednesday and was a symbolical burial of the past to allow society to be reborn, transformed with new vigor. So now we are done with our discussion. Let's have an activity. Art production. Based on what you have learned, create a photo collage with the theme works of art in Philippine streets, just like what you can see in this picture. Let's now move on to our next activity. For your wrap-up activity, let's have a reflection on the lesson discussed today by answering the following questions. 1. What can you say about the Romantic period? What are the characteristics of the Romantic paintings? 
How does the artist convey their ideas to their artworks? Here's another important question to ponder upon. What are the effects of COVID-19 pandemic on mental health? And before ending this lesson, let's answer the post test. 1. The movement in which the artists of neoclassical period sought to break new ground in the expression of emotion, both subtle and stormy, a romanticism, B. Baroque, C. Sculpture, D. Shell. The correct answer is A. Romanticism. B. Which artist painted the raft of Medusa? A. Caravaggio, B. Bernini, C. Jericho, D. Velasquez. The correct answer is C. Jericho. 3. Which painting is the first major work of Jericho which revealed the influence style of Rubens? A. Charging Chaucer B. Insane Woman C. Las Meninas and D. Apollo and Daphne The correct answer is A. Charging Chaucer 4. Which paintings of Jericho portrays the victims of a contemporary shipwreck? A. Insane Woman B. The Wrath of Medusa C. Charging Chaser and D. Notre Dame Cathedral The correct answer is B. The Wrath of Medusa 5. The artist that is commissioned as romantic painter by the King of Spain. A. Jericho. B. Delacroix. C. Goya. D. Rubens. The correct answer is C. Goya. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for listening. Bye!